case. <laughs> Just not too long ago, I've heard this preacher come in. It was a youth day. And this guy comes in knowing what mission he really had to do. And this man was a preacher. And he came down to a church. And he came down to a church that had nothing but mess and negativity. He came down there speaking the full truth. And before you know it, you saw the separation between the worshipers and the negative people. Because you saw most people walk out. Walk out because they didn't want to hear the true message. And so I asked myself, why do they walk out? Well, because they're cowards. They're cowards to actually face the truth. And they be wondering why all the negativity that be in the church always comes to the negativity that goes on in the world. You're saying you want to change the world. You say you want to change the world, but you have no idea how to change it. But first, it begins with ourselves. There are so many ripples in time that is at the church, like how Barry Allen changed, changed the Savior's mother and everything turned into Flashpoint. There are so many ripples between time because there are time and time again where we have caused a separation in our own house. We have caused separation because you have Af African Methodist Episcopal Baptist churches, Catholic churches. They caused a separation, but they forgot the true meaning of a church. Church is for all nations. And yet, even on the news, they cause separation because they talk about all the police officers, all the, all the black people being killed by white people. But really, in naturality, it's just abuse of power because you got black police officers killing them too, but nobody wants to talk on the news about that, so why don't you know your truth? You wonder why you call a separation. Let's be real. Y'all ain't nothing but entertaining stupidity. You entertain stupidity like how Curry the Cowardly Dog, you couldn't understand what he was saying. That type of gibberish. That's all I'm hearing from you fools right now. Not even knowing the true meaning of showing love. Not showing the true meaning of living your life. Ooh, oh my God. Oh, he's, he's preaching too long. He's, uh, he's long-winded. He's not understanding like he's doing too much. Congratulations. You're real good at making excuses. Your excuses are, are nothing but your downfall. They are nothing but the devil playing with your tricky mind, but you too stupid to see it is that you won't even focus on what the Lord is really trying to tell you. What that man did, he pointed out all of the truth, like how God does us at all the time. Imagine this for a moment. What if the church could speak? What if a building could actually talk to us? You up there going inside inside the church and you up there starting all that mess and stuff. The church going to look at you. He'll pro that church will probably tell you to get out my building because you are not here for you for the real reason. You are not here to worship. You are not here to mingle with somebody and worship together. You are just here to spread mess and be messy. You are nothing but trying to stick your nose in somebody's business. That's why we call each other nosy. That is why you are in my house. So why don't you step outside until you get yourself right before you step in my house. So why don't you think about that? I'm just being real. You mad? Oh good. That means I got your attention. <laughs> My attention to you is you need to get yourself right. Because I'm being real with you. If you don't have yourself right, then you are a coward in sheep's clothing. Then you are a person that the devil already has in his back pocket. You want to walk away from the truth, go ahead, fine. But you will always be that coward that everybody says you would be. If God was sitting here telling you this message, how would you feel then? Would you listen or would you still walk away? I'm just being real. But all I know is y'all people need to get it together. All the news people and stuff that are causing separation. Why don't we try standing together? Why don't we try bringing each other closer? That's what the true intentions was from the, from the start. That's what God's real intentions were. Y'all know exactly what role to play like y'all some type of movie actors or anything in that nature. 
Y'all try to play the game like y'all are athletes, but don't even know what game to really play because you are foolish in your own thinking and you lean on your own understanding instead of leaning on God's understanding. Well, I'm just gonna take my sip of water because that means I'm done for the day. Mm. So let me be real, let me be clear. Stop being stupid and learn to be open. Crack your skull open and take ignorance out. Crack your skull open and take negativity out. Crack your skull and take your doubt out. And start leaving it being open. And I guess that's what we call open-minded. Either way, I'm just being real. <laughs>